Peggy 18. The idea for Heavy Rain came from two different directions, I guess. It came from, uh, strangely, the birth of my son and the strange relationship that, as a father, I had with him. Strange love that you feel for, for this young little boy. And, and on a more business point of view, or, or really game-wise, I was interested in creating an experience that would be targeting adults. Our objective was really to create a mature experience. One um, in which emotion and story are really at the core of the experience. And we set out to create an, an emotional ride, a story that uh, people can really play, one in which players' actions do really have consequences on the plot. I wanted to create an experience that would be much more a journey than a challenge. Uh, I was more interesting, interested in creating this emotional roller coaster, make you feel different things, and maybe emotions that you usually don't find in video games. You know, in most games, you, they are about adrenaline, they are about stress, fear, tension, frustration, competition. But I was interested in empathy. I would, I was interested in sadness, in joy, in, in making you care for your characters, making you feel what they feel, beyond these very simple emotions usually found in video games. For a long time, when we were talking about the game, pitching it, explaining it to journalists and to gamers, the feedback were, was very often, oh, it's going to be cool, but there, there are very little chances that it's going to sell. Because, you know, it's so different, there is no weapon, it's not about shooting, the market is not prepared for that and you won't sell much. So um, we were kind of unsure of what to think about this. And, and it was a huge relief and, and, and a very good news in general, beyond the company, beyond Sony, I think it's good news for the industry that you can create games without violence, with, that are not based on shooting, jumping, driving, and still convince gamers to, to give it a chance and to, to enjoy it. What we wanted to do um, by implementing uh, the move uh, functionalities into Heavy Rain is to truly take the best out of the move and not just do a simple port, you know. So really try to reassess what it meant to interact in the game and how we could use um, the, the movements, the, the possibilities given by this new peripheral to enhance the, uh, the playing experience. So the most important thing for us was to redefine the gameplay almost, um, and in, in particular the interface, you know, making sure that uh, there was uh, um, true one-to-one -one mimicry um, on, on between what was going on screen and the movements that you were going to do and find the right language through the interface, the icons, etc. So players would understand what they have to do and, and do it in the, in the most natural way possible. We didn't want to create a heavy rain party game. We didn't want people to jump on their coach and move all around all the time because it, it's really an emotional journey and you don't want motion control to break this psychological immersion, this emotional immersion in any way. You want motion control to reinforce it, to make you really feel like you are a part of the world. So um, we had this strange interface where already with the sticks, when you want to interact with your environment, actually you control like the arm of your character and you can go back and forth and you know really unfold the animation. So we wanted to implement this and create the sense of mimicry so when you open a door, actually it's not a random move, it's actually you open a door with a motion controller. That was so important to us and that was really the focus of the design. I think uh, the move version is the true essence of the heavy rain experience in a sense. We were really looking to create an experience um, that would be based on story, emotion, and in which there wouldn't be so much a, a barrier of the controller. You know, the, the, uh, the, the challenge is not so much on the control, but more on the head, you know, in the decisions that the player uh, is, is taking for, for the fate of his characters. Um, and in, in that perspective, since moves makes interaction easier uh, for the player. I think it's, it's, um, it's a far better uh, interface. Move is uh, a 
more than natural evolution, I would say it's a different version of the game. It's really a different approach. I think the core essence of the game is still in the mind of the player. It's all about choices and consequences and caring for the character and, and feeling what they feel. This is really the, the heart of the, the essence of the experience. But how you interact with the world is something very important and making sure that there is no barrier between you and this emotional experience is something extremely important and I think uh, um, Move helps a lot in this aspect.